Good afternoon, my name is Anna Soroff. I'm with Natural Foods Merchandiser Magazine for New Hope 360, and here we are at Expo East 2010, and I've got Christine Bushway, CEO and Executive Director of Organic Trade Association with me. Good morning. Hi, Anna. Um, I want to talk just a little bit about 2009 because it was such a rough year in so many segments. How did organic do? Well, you know, organic uh, was growing at a rate of about 22% a year for a long time. And um, we had a worldwide recession. And like uh, all things, uh, it certainly got Im impacted. Dropped down to somewhere slightly over 5% growth rate, which is still excellent. So still continued to grow through the recession. And uh, now all the indicators are that it's starting back towards double digit growth again. So, okay. yeah. Good. So Look, that's, it's looking, I would say that's pretty good, good news. It's very good news. Yeah. 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 We, okay. we have happy, uh, happy folks in the organic industry right now. Good. That's yeah. good to hear. Yeah. And speaking of the term organic, can you just talk for a second for our audience about what is organic these days to you and what it means to the OTA? Well, <clears throat> organic actually is, um, it's, a, it's a complicated production process that, um, that the farmers follow to um, ensure certain qualities to the consumer, you know, no antibiotics, no pesticides, synthetics, those types of things that the consumer comes to look for when they look at the organic seal. Okay. I think that there's some confusion, there's some research showing a lot of consu consumer confusion about organic and what it means versus especially the term natural. Mm -hmm. And I know that the OTA is really working to resolve some of these misconceptions, especially with a campaign that you started about a year and a half ago. Can you talk a little bit about that? The organic, it's worth it. Yes, that cam that campaign has been really important because it's the consumer education aspect of what we do. And we know that, <coughs> excuse me, we know that um, we constantly have an evolution of consumers coming into the marketplace. So there's no end to our need to have to educate. And that's, we do that through our website, and through all of our social social media networks, and so that's really important. Um, in terms of natural versus organic, I think that uh, there is a concern between those two entities, but I can tell you there's general consumer confusion in the marketplace because there's all kinds of eco-friendly labels and more labeling. I, I always worry about if we're gonna get to a point where Label, the labeling is going to be bigger than the product because so many people want, want to put so many things on there. Um, I think that the problem with natural is there's really no definition of what natural is. Uh, for instance, you might see natural in the supermarket on a meat product and you might make an assumption that it means one thing and I look at it and I make an assumption that it means another thing. That's very different from what the consumer gets from organic. There's very prescribed deliverables from organic that uh, the consumer comes to know and comes to depend on. Sure, okay. Have you seen any results or can, can you talk about anything that you've heard even anecdotally from this campaign? Or Well, I think the, I think the most important thing about our campaign is the um, ever-increasing number of hits that we get on the website, the ever-increasing number of participants on our social media outlets and um, you know we just constantly get um, inquiries particularly from the media who want more and more information all of which tells you that their readership and their listeners and their viewers are wanting more information okay good and one last question um, there's some talk that you know at the organic summit yesterday and just generally speaking about sort of following in the dairy association's footsteps of you know the got milk campaign yep. where if you are maybe Maybe you know more about this, yeah, so can yeah. you just talk a little bit about that? Well, the, the industry is in the preliminary stages of looking at what's known as a research and promotion order. It's a, There's about 18 federal such orders, and you're familiar, as you mentioned, Got Milk, The Incredible Edible Egg, The Other White Meat. There's a whole bunch of them, and they've been very successful in um, impacting consumption of commodities. Our request to do something like this will be very unusual because we represent so many products. And so instead of trying to put something together to promote beef or pork or eggs or dairy, we're going to be trying to do, uh, this promotion program would be to educate the consumer so that the consumer understands organic. And uh, there's a tremendous amount of 
real excitement about that because they think that can make a real change in the future of the industry. Okay, well, Christine Bushway, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Anna. Good to be with you.